Hey Jads, welcome back. I found an old YouTube video of mine where I failed this challenge to beat most wanted Nuzlocke in stock cars only. So I'm gonna do that. We didn't get the cash again. What is going on with most wanted not recognizing my, my save file anymore? Okay, the Lexus is actually the worst car, so we take it. Well, if this one dies, we can still pick the golf, so plenty of opportunity to use it. I will be skipping bosses. Otherwise, it takes too long. All bosses most wanted takes forever and a half. You know what, the Lexus is so bad. It doesn't come with a stop turbo or supercharger. And that makes it the slowest starter car. Golf and Ponto have a turbo and the Cobalt has a supercharger. Is this not nice located with unlimited money? No, I made this as hard as possible. Only stock cars, no modifications to the game. I don't get unlimited money, I don't get any help. Only stock cars. It's so weird to see the Lexus. Yeah, well, everybody says, uh, why always the Golf? So, there you go, Lexus time. There's only one way to tell that you use automatic and most wanted, and that is when you crash, the automatic gearbox can shift multiple gears at once, which makes it amazing. Makes it actually better than the manual gearbox. You ram into a roadblock, you lose like 100 kilometers per hour, you shift from 5th into 2nd or 3rd, so like, it can do that. Too slow, fantastic. I'm fairly sure I need to get both to progress. How much do I need here? Oh my god. So slow, dude. <laughs> so fucking slow. I should have enough money if I sell the dead cars all the time. If I can sell the Lexus, I get the gold. Then I sell the, sell the gold and I get something faster. Okay, don't forget the boss skip, otherwise we got a lot more work to do. So we still... Oh god. Let's see, let's see if the car is fast enough for a drag race. This might kill it. I have to try. Okay, that's really bad. Yeah, that's game over. Sorry, Lexus. I shouldn't have dragged you, man. I shouldn't have dragged you, Lexus. I'm so sorry. Okay, the one and the only. Let's bring back the gold. I'm not gonna throw it into the drag race. That was a bad idea. Drag races without nitrous is just a really stupid idea. Get our first dead car. Lexus survived for two chapters, actually. Not too bad. Cobalt. Ponto. Wow, that's, that's really stupid. What the actual fuck is happening? You just got pushed to the side like crazy by this traffic car. The thing is, when you crash a traffic car, they lock their wheel to the right. And I just couldn't. I couldn't get past him. There's a really good chance I'm gonna lose this now. Dude, these things are so heavy. If you're not in first, you get completely fucked. Dude, the golf did not live long. Holy shit. Already, are you kidding me? So much bad luck. Well, buy die golf, man. I mean, to be fair, I probably need to sell some other cars first to even have enough car uh, enough money. We're gonna use this golf to buy ourselves a new, a new car. That was too fast, dude. That was way too fast. Okay, let's see if there's something fast in the dealership that is not a start to stop car. Supra Clio Mustang. I think I'll take the Clio. The thing is, I still have to manage my money, guys. Like, I can't just buy every car. Because I can only resell the car for half the price. It's actually, yeah, way more, way more, way more powerful than the starter cars. But we are a bit limited by everything that is stock. I really do think that the Golf we should have survived for longer, though. I was considering taking the shortcut, but... Yeah, that's the event where you go to the left. If you take the shortcut here, you're completely boned. So you shoot out from the left here, and you have to go here. It's not gonna work. So, if you want some information, um, the game has a 10% chance to spawn a level 2 roadblock. So there's potential roadblock places all over the map. And basically every time you reach one of those places, the game rolls a dice. 10 sided. And yeah, 10% 10, 10 chance that it spawns a roadblock. Which is very bad odds. Very, very bad odds. Also, a, l a reason for a lot of resets in the past. Speedrunning most wanted, not getting these two roadblocks, killed the run. I gotta say, the Renault is doing a not bad. This Clio is going places. Definitely faster than a stock golf. <laughs> Although it's actually naturally aspirated. It doesn't even come with a turbo. The golf turbo is super overpowered, but it only kicks in when you actually, you know, upgrade the golf. There are some really difficult events, especially the events that include drag racing. And there's a lot of bosses with drag racing. Like drag racing is gonna be the biggest barrier, the biggest challenge. Okay, this is gonna be tough. I have to do the boss skip with 
invisible mouse. Basically, when it turns orange, that's when I have to click. Speed travel event without nitrous. That's, that's scary. So the idea to increase your chances of winning is just don't be in first all the time. If you're in first all the time, they will rub a band. And then it's really hard to get decent speed trap values. Or rather, they will always have bigger ones than you have. Because they will rub a band to catch you. Might be fine. Okay, so Flick's already faster than me. See, that's what I mean. Like, this is what can easily kill me. Thing is, I don't necessarily want to fall too far behind either. Because if the guy in first finishes way earlier than you do, then he's also going to win. So it's a pretty interesting balancing act that you have to perform here. And definitely a lot of speed breaker is going to be used to keep the car grippy in difficult corners. See the flick guy, I hope it's the guy in the last position that he's so far behind that he has no chance in hell to win this event. But I think it's the guy in last, so it should be a win. I'm still afraid of doing anything that is a speed truck or a drag race like these two event types super terrifying at some point this car is going to be too slow for toll booths as well so yeah, the balancing act continues dude are we gonna lose to the golf shit we are what the fuck was that rubber band at the end damn son is that is that dealership anywhere here oh goodbye cleo this golf is better what's the best car available right now cayman cayman is really good 60k it was the old speedrunning car. Like, I actually switched away from the Golf in my very, very first most wanted speedruns. Because I thought it's just better. Which is not even close the case. But, you know, I just imagined, hey, the Cayman is a car worth switching to. And I was actually trying to get Baron's, Baron's Porsche, because I just thought it was better. You know, without any testing, I just assumed that would be the case. Let me finish the race and not get beaten by Earl. <laughs> it's always good. GG. Very nice. Okay, we got another boss beaten. Next up is Kaze. Shit, we might lose. Oh god, can you slow down? Shit, dude. It's so easy to lose cars, man. Especially when you rub band like crazy at the end. Skill issue. Ah, I need a new car. So, we can sell a good amount of cars though. Okay, the Eclipse is the cheapest car. Which means we're gonna use it to buy a new one. We shouldn't run into a money problem until we start using nearly all cars. Like if at any point we used most of the cars, then, then it's gonna get tough with money. Okay, Elise is ready. CLK RX-7. The Elise is really good, but also kind of slow without any upgrades. Maybe I'll just go in order. Let's go with the STI. Yeah. Crip on this car is pretty good. Speed could be better. In so many races, they like immediately take the lead and you try to just get ahead of them again. It's so much easier when you have knots. You can really utilize certain parts of the racetracks. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. The car is barely fast enough. Nice driving. Things when they get stuck like this, they have to drive back first and they actually drive back a lot and then they start following you again. Does it? She might, but she has a CLK 500, the worst car in this game. At least if you upgrade the cars to the absolute maximum, that is the slowest car. Actually trash in this game. But it still might be better than my unupgraded Subaru here. I mean, speed breaker definitely helps in corners. That's why the speed breaker is so overpowered. It lets you corner at higher speeds and you also retain those high speeds. So it overall makes your race faster. You gotta use it in the right amounts. If you overuse it, it actually makes you slow on a speed run. But if you use it correctly, it will save you extra time. So we have to get back in first move. You don't want to get beaten by Kaza. It's... You gotta take this seriously or we will lose a lot more cars than I can afford. Shit. Come on, one more chance. Damn. Goodbye, Subaru. It was nice knowing you. I think she rubber bands right at the end there, every time. And she did it again! I really wanted to use this car in next chapter because it has heat level 4. But we have better cars lined up. Okay, attempt number 2. Let's go. Actually, this attempt looks way better. I mean, Kaza definitely made a mistake, but the RX-7 is a better car. 
And it was cheap too. Like that was 29k. Talk about talk about the budget build. Good luck finding an RX-7 29,000 in the real world, even a used one. Hello there. I love that there's always this truck around this corner. If you're a little bit faster, you're gonna hit that truck in, in specific. I really love traffic. I actually think it gets easier late game because the NPCs struggle against traffic cars. That is the edge that you need. Like dodging traffic is something you can do way better than the NPCs. The NPCs might have rubber band and faster cars, but they get fucked by, by traffic. Wait, I need how many events? Seven. I actually think I'm gonna stick to knockouts and circuits. I'm so afraid of speed trap events. Yeah, so this is where it starts. We're already behind. We can't have to nail the last speed trap to even have a chance. Holy shit that we lost. See, that's why, that's why I don't do speed trap events. It kills your car. It's stupid. I shouldn't do it. It's not the right decision to make. I don't think I need a fast car right now. I think I'm gonna need the Viper for JV. So I'm thinking DB9 or Carrera. Uh, I think I'll take the Carrera first. The lease, it's actually really bad without any upgrades. The lease is astoundingly slow without any performance upgrades. You can have all the handling in the world if you don't have an engine to back it up. It is, as they say, no bueno. And we're actually gonna lose the cops here. Let's just hope we are not gonna need six spikes. Oh man, did you see the... The chopper spawn behind me in this game, such a troll. So, yeah, in that case, we gotta work on these. 290. 210 I can I can realistically do. Okay, I just need to keep my speed around this corner. Wow, it's not even close. How do I do... Dude, I need four milestones. I don't think I can do any of these. Not without nitrous. I have to go for six spikes. I'd be very careful right now. Since I don't have nitrous, it's a lot easier, a lot harder to break free. It's only only problematic if I'm too far away from him because then he's gonna rub band to catch up to me. Dude, speed breaker needs to be overpowered, otherwise you would lose this challenge so hard. Another blacklist member beaten. Okay, I really hope I don't lose this guy now. I can only hope that he gets stuck on a traffic car. If not, we had the Carrera for the longest time. But there's no traffic. <laughs> there's nothing to stop him. GG. Bye Carrera. I have 270,000, so I can buy any car. Ford GT is great. Mercer Lago is also great. The Mercer Lago is way better, looking at stats. Do I think that the Ford GT is gonna be better? Wow, that costs all my money. Both of these cars cost all of my money. Do I want more top speed? I don't think so. I think I'm gonna take the Mercer Lago. I said Lambo is good. <laughs> this actually might be a car that is fast enough to actually deal with the faster opponents. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, that's a real problem. Oh, that ruins my that ruins my speed trap so hard. But it, it might be more ruined for the other guys. You know, when it comes to manual gearbox, I think you will actually do better with manual gearbox when you do time trials for like single events. But trying an entire run in manual could be really, really hard. And might not be faster. Simply for all the errors that you're gonna do in a three and a half hour run. I actually think that having a faster car is super beneficial for this challenge because the opponents can only rubber band so much and the car might be too fast for rubber band to keep up because they, they will rubber band so fast that they actually make mistakes. Ronnie definitely wins the award for one of the ugliest cars in the game. Oh wait, Tradition. The number 15 guy on the blacklist. Huh? Happened to Ronnie. Uh, he is super broken right now. Just drove in the wrong direction, then he got respawned. Dude, I've never seen Ronnie so broken. There is a bug where Ronnie clips through the bridge. And he misses a checkpoint, so he has to turn around and get it. It's actually right here. And this crossover, he bugs uphill. And then, yeah, he missed the checkpoint, he has to turn around. But he seems more broken than usual. Like, once again, he's driving in the wrong direction. I think he teleported. There he is. Okay, so he's... Let's follow him for a second. He doesn't know what to do. He He's driving further away from the checkpoint. Now he has to go, go backwards to get the checkpoint. Well, Ronnie definitely wants us to beat the challenge. Dude, I do not want to lose to Ronnie here. He shouldn't be so fast as he is right now. But there's plenty of opportunity to catch him. Especially in the last part here. They overcompensate the braking. 
and with the speed breaker you just carry a lot more speed. This is a stupid corner though, especially when you don't have nitrous. I can't believe it, we beat Ronnie on the first try too. GG Ronnie. Okay, we actually in the final chapter, we are at Razor and we have not lost yet. Now in the speedrun you do two milestones here, the quick escape and the 850,000 bounty. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, no, 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 with nitrous I could have gotten out of here. Ah shit, well I guess I have to change car one more time. The problem is, I should have enough money, 132,000, hold on, ah, I like that car, time for a new one. I was too careless. Two Kalos with the Rhinos from the front. But that means we can use the Karar GT. The Karar GT, though, is kind of weak against cops. It might be a problem. 280,000 down payment. But everybody loves the sound of the Carrera GT. <laughs> the dead list is growing. You know, the thing is, if I pick another starter car, a stock car now, other than the Carrera GT, they're all gonna be worse. Like, this is actually the best car that we can pick. So, hopefully we're not losing it. We can actually beat the game in this one. I think speed wrap events are gonna be fine. Also, you need to do 9 out of 11 events, so... There's, it's not gonna be easy to even dodge certain events in the first place. You know, on the one hand, I wanna get straight paints, but I don't wanna get unnecessarily... I don't wanna unnecessarily risk to get busted. What the... what that was weird, man. I was in full reverse this entire time and they kept pushing my car. Honestly, considering how much time we have to spend, I probably don't have to worry about trade pains. I think 2 million bounty. Whoa. <laughs> Super cop. Back at it again. Just gonna go a bit slow here so I don't run over spikes. I think I can actually chill here for a while. Until the game decides that another cop should spawn. Dude, most wanted 5 definitely shines at heat level 5. Heat level, f heat level 4 can be really tricky too when you are in a non-optimal car. Whoa. <laughs> Fuck. Surprise truck. You guys ready? Last guy to beat Razor in a stock car. So, already behind. Fantastic. The thing is, even if Razor has higher speed traps than you have, you run so far in front of him he might miss the last speed trap or it just takes him way too long to finish. Exactly. For every second he finishes after you, he loses 10 kilometers per hour. But if he doesn't hit the last speed trap before you finish, he just misses it entirely. So if you now look at the race stats, he has 2300. Like he didn't even get the value for the last one. Okay, I'm interested about this one. I don't have nose, but I have to drag race against Razor. I think he crashed. That was probably the biggest wild card. The drag race. GG. Moving on. Three events left to get the stock challenge completed. Okay, turning around. Shotcut. So this out of bounds saves a lot of time. Super important for speedruns, but pretty fun to do in challenge runs too. You skip prison this way, and since there are no checkpoints, you are perfectly fine. And now you're 1.4 kilometers ahead of Razor, and you have a pretty easy win here. Alright, and with that, there's only one race left. Let's do it. I did fail this challenge in the past, so... This would be our first completion of a stock car in our stock challenge in Most Wanted. 3, 2, 1, boom! Bye, Razor. One thing left to do. Okay. Let's not get busted and actually beat this challenge, okay? Probably a good idea. We're gonna have to play with the cops for five minutes. Let's see how much of the city we can destroy before we have to escape. Um, three, two, one! Ching! Did it! It's official! Completed! Officially completed! Beat the entire game in only stock cars under Nuzlocke rules. So when a car lost, it had to be retired. It's possible. It's very much possible. That was fun. That Lambo and the Courage T both amazing. There's still a few cars that I haven't tried yet. And other than that, I'm out. Sleep tight. Definitely do come back in two days. And good night.